Welcome back everybody, today is again a ARC GPU video, this time it will be Helldivers 2, from the A310 to the A770. Welcome to Response PC, I'm Dunk, let's hell dive in. We obviously start with the A310 at 1080p low settings. This 4GB card, which go eat up another gig in your system memory to have 5GB of a VRAM utilization, is giving you 31 FPS, so you can actually play Helldivers with the lower hand of the Intel ARC GPU. We're using a 10.3 gigabyte of uh, system memory, so make sure that you have at least a 16 on your system. And I'm on difficulty 5, so higher difficulty, probably going to drop even more. And I didn't try the robot, so I'm not sure if we're going to have the same result. We do get the original starter when you start the game, until everything is uh, loaded up in the VRAM or system RAM or whatever you put, uh, those shaders and assets and texture. But when it's done, it's smooth. I don't know why those cards uh, need uh, that much time to load up everything. You have 5 to 10 minutes to have a, a good smooth play. Jumping to the A380, the 6 GB uh, Intel card, we can push the settings to medium to get an average of 33 FPS. If you want uh, more FPS, uh, you drop to low. Keep at low like the A310. Maybe you should keep it at low because it's a shooter. It's not a competitive shooter, but still a shooter. The 60 FPS is uh, better than 30, but 30 is uh, playable and it's smooth. So I guess it's okay. And we're using only 5.3 gigabyte of uh, VRAM out of the 6 gigabyte available. So there's a con some setting that maybe you can play with or higher difficulty you can reach and it's still be going to be playable. Next up, we have the ARC A580. And God, I love that card. So cheap and getting always really good results in most of the game that I've tried so far. And now again, we're playing at 1080p, build cross settings and we're averaging 49 FPS and stable at that. We get as high as 55 and as low as 44. One thing I can say is this card is the best budget money for FPS that you can get on the Intel side of uh, GPU. It's a really surprising card, regardless of the game I've tried so far. A 140-150 GPU that can support retracing on some games, I, I raise my hat. And now jumping to 1440p with the ARC A750 Elden Ring Edition. We can uh, push it to the maximum of ultra settings and getting an average of 42 fps yes ultra settings i would rather go over quality instead of quantity when i'm playing a non-competitive game or player versus player because for sure you can drop to high or medium or even low settings to get higher fps if you don't mind me i prefer that uh, that way so ultra settings 42 fps debate me the gpu is using 7.7 .7 gigabyte of vram the cpu is working a little bit more now at the 65 percent of its position and we're using 12.2 gigabyte of system memory Highly playable. Maybe draw the settings to high because the visual difference is not that much difference and you get a bit more FPS. And finally the A770 Limited Edition, original from Intel, from my editing rig. We are obviously at 1440p at ultra settings and we have 52 FPS average, a little bit higher than the 750. We're using 8.6 of a gigabyte VRAM compared to the 7.7 .7 from the 750, doing the same job. So to gain only uh, about 5 FPS, uh, getting the A770 for Eldavers is not a good option. Keep the 750 at max, the best at the, with the A580, and at the lowest, the A380. So far in almost every game that I've tested uh, with the A770, it's not really worth the money to pay. The 750 or 580 always been a better choice. Unless you're doing AI, which you'll see on the upcoming video. That's where my A770 have shined the most or the best so far. Anyway, you will see on the upcoming video what uh, I'm talking about. For this one, it's finished. So, see you on the next one. And subscribe.